This is part 23 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss why deleting database records using GET request is bad. Please watch part 22 before proceeding with this video. First, let's discuss deleting data using GET request and then we'll discuss why it's bad to do so. At the moment, when I click on this delete link, we get an error, the resource cannot be found. Look at the URL, we are trying to navigate to uh, delete action within employee controller but within the employee controller do we have delete action method no we don't that's the reason why we get that error to get rid of this error we need to implement delete action within employee controller but before we do that first let's implement a stored procedure that's capable of deleting employees data so let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. So here I have the stored procedure SP delete employee, which has got this input parameter ID. So once we give it an employee ID, this stored procedure is going to delete that employee's record from this table TBL employee. So this is our first step to create the stored procedure that's capable of deleting employee's data. Once that is done, we need to add a method to our employee business layer class at the moment this employee business layer class has got two methods add employee save employee let's go ahead and add a method delete employee which is going to execute the stored procedure that we have just created so let's give it the id of the employee that we want to delete and here we need to write bit of adio.net code to execute the stored procedure and to speed things up, I have that already implemented. So let's copy this code and paste it within our delete employee method. And if you look at the implementation, it's very straightforward. All we are doing here is using the configuration manager class, we are reading the connection string from web.config file. And using that connection string, we are building our SQL connection object. And then we are building our SQL command object here. Notice that we are specifying the name of the stored procedure. So we have to tell the command object that it is going to execute a stored procedure and we are doing that using the command type property and next we are building our SQL parameter object because this stored procedure has got a parameter so here we are building the parameter object itself specifying the name of the parameter and then the value finally associating that parameter object with the command object and then we are opening the connection executing the command so very straightforward ADO.NET code so that's the second step implement delete employee method within our business layer. And finally, within employee controller class, we need to implement delete action method. So let's go ahead and do that. This is method is going to return action result and let's call it delete. And let's give it the ID of the employee that we want to delete. Within this delete action method, let's go ahead and create an instance of our employee business layer class. And then this class has got this method, delete employee, which can actually delete employee's data. So we need to pass it the ID of the employee that we want to delete. And once that is done, we want to redirect the user to index action, which is going to list all the users. That's it. With these changes, let's go ahead and run this and see if it's going to work as expected. Let's navigate to Employee Controller and Index Action. And let's click on this Delete and see if the record gets deleted. Look at this. We have this Mark Record. Click Delete. Mark Record is gone. So when we click on that link, it's going to issue a GET request to that URL. But keep in mind, deleting database records using GET request opens a security hole and it's not recommended by Microsoft. Just imagine what can happen if there is an image tag in a malicious email as you can see here. So what's going to happen when we open that email? You know, the image tries to load from that URL. So it issues a GET request to that URL. And then obviously our controller delete action method with an employee controller will be invoked passing in the ID there. In this case, employee ID uh, 2. So the moment we open the email, the employee row will automatically be deleted because it issues a GET request. Okay, let's actually see that in action. So here I have the same image tag. Let's go to this folder here. Let's create a notepad. So new text document. And let's call it email dot htm. I'm changing the extension from txt to, to htm so that I can open that with a browser. 
Let's right click on that, open the HTML file with the notepad and I'm going to paste this image tag there. So notice the URL source is equal to, we are trying to navigate to delete action with an employee controller, passing it uh, ID 2. So let's save and close that file and let's check the rows that we have within this database table. At the moment we have that record with ID is equal to 2. And then let's go to this folder and let's try to open this and see what's going to happen. Uh, there's a browser error. Let's relaunch the browser. Look at this. I don't want to restore the previous session, but then the file has loaded. But let's now go ahead and check the table. Look at what happened to record with ID is equal to 2. It's automatically deleted. Okay. Now let's actually change this HTML to another way. So let's open this HTML file. Let's get rid of the HTML that's already there. And let's copy this HTML and paste it. So if you look at this HTML, it's very straightforward again. Within an anchor tag, I have an image tag. So within the image, we are saying, OK, uh, the source is this one. So uh, in C colon images folder, I have the sample image, so which is this one. And then that image tag is actually wrapped inside an anchor tag. So obviously, when I save this and look at the href of the anchor tag. So we are trying to navigate to that URL, delete action with an employee controller, passing it the ID 3, employee ID 3. At the moment, if you look at, you know, we have that record, employee's record with ID is equal to 3. Now let me open this and see what's going to happen. Look at that, it shows this image, click to play. You know, we think that it's a video. And once I click on that image, it's going to play that video. But then what is actually going to happen? Look on the status bar right here. When I hover my mouse over on that image, it's going to navigate to delete action with an employee controller passing it that ID 3. So I click on that. It deletes that record with employee ID 3, navigates me back to index action. And look at that. I only have the rest of the two records there. OK, so that's why it's not good to delete employees data, I mean to delete data using get requests. So again, another problem if you have, you know, get requests deleting data when search engines index your page, they issue get requests and which would automatically delete the data. OK, that's why in general, get request should be free of any side effects like this, meaning it should not change the state in any way. Deletes should always be performed using a post request. We'll discuss uh, implementing deletes using post requests in our next video. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C-Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.